This new plan they have is a 100 kilometer tunnel. Basically, the idea in particle physics is the bigger you go, the more energy you can smash stuff together with, the more interesting science. What if someone told you that the world's largest science machine is also the source of some of the scariest stories of modern times? Beneath the tranquil border of Switzerland and France lies the home of CERN's Large Hadron Collider, LHC. By day, this huge instrument is making superb discoveries, but at night, it carries with it rumours, fear, and even panic among those very scientists charged with running it. These are experiments at CERN that terrify even scientists themselves. Picture this, running an experiment that could, in theory, swallow the planet. That was the kind of fear that erupted when CERN physicists announced the possibility that the LHC might produce miniature black holes. This idea was not pure science fiction. Some theoretical models suggested that smashing protons together at extremely high energy levels could produce tiny black holes, which, being unstable, would immediately evaporate. Physicists assured the public that any black hole created would vanish in a flash. Yet the chilling question remained, what if just one did not vanish? In 2008, formal legal complaints were filed in European courts to stop CERN from turning on the collider. The argument, even if the chance was extremely small, the risk was unacceptable. Although such cases were dismissed, the notion that Earth's most advanced laboratory might inadvertently create a black hole struck deep anxiety into the public and even unsettled some experts. The concern was serious enough to demand official safety reviews. One of the most spine-chilling theories tied to CERN involves strange matter, or what scientists call strangelets. It is a hypothetical form of matter so stable and exotic that if it ever touched ordinary matter, it might convert everything it contacted into more strange matter. Think of it as a cosmic infection that starts in one spot and spreads across the world. Back in the 1990s, similar fears surrounded experiments at the Relativistic Heavy Ion Collider ORAHIC, in the US. The LHC revived these speculations. Some theorists warned that colliding heavy ions could spawn strange lets capable of devouring the planet from the inside out. To date, no strange lets have been found, but the possibility still lurks in theoretical physics. Even if the odds are astronomically small, the idea of a runaway particle that eats the Earth was enough to terrify both the public and some of the scientists themselves. Few substances in science seem more ominous than antimatter. At CERN, antiproton decelerator researchers trap atoms of antihydrogen, the antimatter counterpart of ordinary hydrogen. Antimatter is fascinating, but it is also dangerous in principle. When matter and antimatter meet, they annihilate, releasing a burst of pure energy. If one gram of antimatter were to meet one gram of matter, the explosion could equal a nuclear bomb. In reality, the amounts used at CERN are microscopic, far, far too small to cause any immediate harm. But the fact remains, scientists are intentionally creating and storing one of the most volatile substances in the universe. In 2012, CERN trapped antihydrogen atoms for 1,000 seconds, setting a record at that time, edging closer to a detailed antimatter study. Even though containment is extremely secure, the very idea of antimatter experiments at CERN evokes a forbidden feeling aura. The scale, precision, and potential energy release make the experiment seem otherworldly. In 2011, CERN sent a shockwave through the physics community when it announced results that seemed to suggest neutrinos, those ghost-like particles that pass nearly undetected through matter, were traveling faster than light. If true, this would have shattered Albert Einstein's theory of relativity and demanded a full rewrite of modern physics. For months, scientists scrambled to check data, review experiments, and repeat trials. The stakes were enormous. If particles could outrun light, then causality itself, causing the preceding effect, could break down. Time travel, paradoxes, the collapse of the rules of physics, all seemed possible. In the end, the anomaly turned out to be due to a loose fiber optic cable, a calibration error. 
but for a while the world of science stared into an abyss of rewriting everything we knew. And even the physicists admitted it was unnerving. Then there was the strange 2016 incident. A video circulated online showing what appeared to be a mock human sacrifice in the courtyard of CERN, right in front of the statue of Shiva the Destroyer, a gift from India that symbolizes creation and destruction. The footage triggered panic. Around the world, people believed the lab was not just doing science, but performing occult rituals linked to its experiments. CERN responded that the video was a prank, staged by individuals with unauthorized access. Yet the symbolism, a sacrifice under Shiva's statue, an accelerator recreating conditions of the Big Bang, sent conspiracy theories into overdrive. While CERN dismissed the incident as non-official, the association of a cult ritual with high-energy science left many people deeply unsettled. Some physicists were uncomfortable with how their work was perceived. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. But CERN isn't solely smashing particles to discover new ones. Some of its experiments actively search for signs of extra dimensions beyond the familiar space-time we live in. One proposal suggests that collisions at the LHC could briefly open micro-wormholes or gateways into higher dimensions. If true, this might explain long-standing mysteries, like dark matter or extra forces. However, critics worry. What might come through those openings? Could something leak out? What if something slipped back in? These notions terrified the public and fascinated scientists at the same time. In 2008, CERN even published a formal safety report to address these and related fears, black holes, extra dimensions, and vacuum decay. While the official conclusion was that the LHC was safe, the very need for such a report illustrates just how uneasy people, even experts, felt about what these experiments might unleash. Arguably, the most terrifying possibility ever connected to CERN is the idea of vacuum decay. In physics, our universe may exist in what is called a false vacuum. It is a delicate state that might collapse into a more stable vacuum. If that collapse began, it would spread at the speed of light, destroying everything in its path. Some theorists worried that high-energy collisions at CERN could trigger such a collapse. Although subsequent studies concluded the risk is essentially zero, the fact remains that the LHC pushes into energy ranges previously unreachable, when one considers that an experiment might, even in theory, trigger the death of the universe, even a remote possibility is enough to terrify scientists. When CERN announced its hunt for the Higgs boson, often dubbed the God Particle, the media frenzy made the moment sound apocalyptic. Headlines claimed CERN might destroy the universe by creating something unnatural. Some people even linked the search for the Higgs boson to doomsday prophecies. In July 2012, CERN confirmed the Higgs boson discovery, and the world did not end. But behind the headline celebration, there was real unease. The physicist Peter Higgs himself had warned that high-energy physics could lead to unexpected consequences. The Higgs field gives mass to particles. Tampering with it sounded a bit like tampering with the bedrock of reality. Even though scientists assured safety, the panic and scale of the experiment reveal how quickly a project of discovery can flip into a story of dread. CERN is not only unsettling because of what it might discover, but because of the sheer scale of its operation. The Large Hadron Collider spans a 27-kilometer ring of superconducting magnets buried about 100 meters underground near Geneva. It consumes vast amounts of electricity each year on the order of what a small city uses. The magnitude of the energy flows, the massive electromagnetic fields, the thousands of magnets and cryogenic systems make it feel like an experiment that might be far too powerful for humans to control. That sense of vastness feeds the public's fear. Some conspiracy theories even claimed that strange weather or earthquakes were linked to CERN's activities. While scientists dismiss such claims, the idea that one machine could drink as much electricity as a city and produce conditions akin to the first moments of the universe is enough to raise hair. 
One of the stranger real incidents linked to CERN happened in 2009, when the collider experienced a sudden failure. Investigators discovered the cause. A piece of bread had fallen into outdoor machinery, perhaps dropped by a bird. That tiny crumb brought a major shutdown. What made the story eerie wasn't just the happenstance, but the timing. Some theorists speculated that this was not just an accident, but a kind of sabotage from the future. That nature, or even time itself, was trying to prevent CERN from making dangerous discoveries such as the Higgs boson. While most physicists laughed off the idea, a few admitted the coincidence gave them pause. The notion that the universe might be actively fighting CERN experiments sounds absurd, but it is exactly the kind of story that keeps the public, and even some experts, uneasy about what goes on underground. When one steps back and looks at it, the work at CERN is simultaneously the greatest triumph of human curiosity and one of the most unnerving ventures into unknown territory. It is not simply a machine smashing particles, it is an experiment that touches the boundaries of what we know, what we imagine, and what we fear. Scientists conduct it with precision, discipline, and caution. But the public sees something more, a weapon on the edge of nature, a portal into the hidden dimensions, a machine that might accidentally awaken the dark seeds of the universe. In the end, CERN's story reminds us that the frontier of science often lies close to the frontier of the imaginable. The fact that scientists can even ask questions like, could we create a black hole, or could we open a gateway to another dimension, is both a sign of human achievement and human caution. Because when you are running machines powerful enough to recreate conditions of the Big Bang, every small chance, every remote scenario, every what if, becomes a shadow at the edge of knowledge, 